Folks, we are certainly in the dog days of summer. It is gonna be a hot, hot, hottie. That will be 375. Uh, keep the change. This is one dollar. Uh, here, you look beautiful. Be Large pepperoni? No offense, but is your dog pregnant or just super fat? I called you for pizza, not opinions. This is why kids don't like old people. Why was it a no-brainer for you to get on board with this film? Uh, mostly because I, I have no brain. Um, <laughs> no, I, 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 I wanted to do another. I did uh, How to Be a Latin Lover, and that was a, a family uh, movie. A little subversive, but it was a family movie, and I wanted to do what I loved about that movie. One of my favorite parts about that movie were the real human relationships. Um, uh, and so I wanted to find a movie where I could uh, work with a lot of actors and have a bunch of relationships that uh, that uh, were real. And this movie came along, and I just I I loved it. I I love um, how dogs affect people's <coughs> lives. I love I love how dogs make me feel. I like um, and and so I thought this would be a, a fabulous movie to make. Yeah. Joining us today is a former L.A. Ram, a co-host. This tackle dummy doesn't know I, anything fun, about hosting not. a morning news show. Whoa. The audience loves you two together. Nina, your character basically is a TV host who's brought together by your character by dogs. Mm -hmm. um, have you ever, in real life, have you ever used your dog to for boyfriend bait? Yeah, I mean, that's a, <laughs> that is a great question. Nina, have you ever... Have you ever used your dog as bait? Has, has, has she Maverick, wasn't bait. Has, has Maverick, <laughs> as I told you before, she wasn't bait. She just happened to make an introduction organically. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Because it just happened like I, that. You meet people that have dogs and you have conversations, and, and, and that's kind of what this movie's about. And it has happened in real life too. <laughs> yes, I have been asked out on a dog date. Okay, all right. Ah, now we get to the real. I found her yesterday. Her little face looks so angry and happy at the same time. <laughs> Pregnancy has changed your sister. You move away from the door. She has a rage of a chimp. You keep my dog alive until I get back from the hospital. My building has a strict no dog policy, so I'll get a fix. How am I going to get you up there? Oh, come on in. I play Tara, and you meet her. She's a barista at a coffee shop, and she's just kind of trying to figure out her purpose in life, what to do with herself. And she ends up finding a dog behind a dumpster mm -hmm. and uh, mm -hmm. volunteering <laughs> at a shelter and um, finding a way to give back to a community um, where they don't have their own voices right. and actually need us for <coughs> their survival and uh, falls in love along the way. Whose dog is that? Brittany, almost don't recognize you without steam coming out your ears. You know, I'm looking at, when I looked at the film yesterday, I'm looking at these dogs, like all these dogs are same time on set like it has to be some type of like hassle was there like a hassle like behind the scenes with just getting the dogs to cooperate at certain scenes i think that i mean it, it takes a little bit longer to shoot with animals because they don't always do everything that they're supposed to because yeah. mm -hmm. they're animals and and that comes with the territory but you know that and mm -hmm. that it's fine these dogs in particular were so well they behaved were and so well trained mm -hmm. i didn't feel like there were any hiccups no mm -hmm. there i mean just you know yeah. everybody gets tired everybody gets Lethargic at some point, but uh, I think that we we joked about it earlier. Uh, you know, just in case there there was a scene where the dogs were a little tired, they would you know bring in a stuffed animal. For, <laughs> <laughs> so like, so that was a little weird. But we'd but, have uh, to shoot. They shoot the coverage of the dog, and then the dog would leave, and then we'd have if it was an emotional scene, we'd have to do an emotional scene with like a stuffed animal. That was <laughs> so just like, like stiff. Coming up, August twenty six. I know you know. both have dogs. Mm -hmm. How will you celebrate National Dog Day this year? Um. Probably get Darla a bunch of treats, take her on a nice long walk, and post a picture of her on okay. Instagram. And you, Adam? Yeah, I'll post a picture on Instagram so people think I'm a good person. All right. <laughs> Favorite Nelly song, since you got that Nelly shirt on. Uh, hot in here. I mean, I don't know how you could argue that there's a better one. Dogs open their hearts to us, to love, and to be loved. And I find that beautiful. Oh, oh. 